So we've been talking recently about the possibility of a larger scale bank run and how the banks are still under scrutiny and how several banks have actually even failed already. But this brings up a good point. Which banks are most at risk right now? Let's check it out. So this article says banks that have or may have the most risk right now are First Republic Bank, Huntington, Bank Shares, Key Corp, Truist Financial, Cullen Frost Bankers, Zion Bank Corporation. The top five also have a big risk factor, though may be deemed that these banks are too big to fail. And the top five we're talking about is Bank of America, Citigroup, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, and Wells Fargo. So is your money safe in banks? It's not a problem until or unless your depositors decide it's a problem and ask you for their money back, which is sort of what happened with SVB. Now, this is why banks at the moment are offering higher CD rates as well as higher yield saving accounts, as long as majority of the population continues to keep their money in banks and aren't resorting to withdraw large amounts of cash, there is a possibility that the current banking crisis could slowly die down. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think the banks are actually at risk here? And do you think we should be worried? Price action. We all know that this is some of the highest manipulation we've seen. And we know why the price action is doing what it's doing. But it's crazy to think that we just had some of the most bullish earning calls in the last six quarters, yet we're down 13% week to date. To think that at one point in time, before the ape stock, we were trading at 18, 19 bucks and actually climbing with way worse fundamentals and company health. But again, we have the most bullish call in six quarters and we can't manage to get out of the $5 trading range. On top of that, it's the stocks that's obviously recovering. It's just laughable at this point. What the F are you doing, Hedgies? Either way, I'm buying more. This hit down below said they keep shoring and knocking the bid over and over endlessly. Need strong buying lit exchange, not the best which goes to market makers to make their owners billionaires. This hit does bring up a good point. We've talked about it obviously at nauseum here. The fundamentals are getting better. The company is becoming more and more strong by the day. But still the stock price is trading sideways for the most part, not really doing all that much. So what is it going to take at this point? I remember for months now, we've been waiting on the next catalyst. And for good reason, all these amazing bullish catalysts are improving the company. And again, for long-term holders, like myself, for those apes out there that are planning on holding onto a stock like AMC for a long time, you're going to want to have your underlying company, the underlying stock, to do well. And it is, in my opinion. AMC is improving, and the last few earnings calls have explained that perfectly. But still, the stock isn't doing all that much. Comment down below what you think it's going to take at this point and explain to us, help us see some clarity on why the stock hasn't jumped up yet.